up. This is just my email. What we want to go to is our Los Medanos website. This is going to get us set up for Insight, Canvas, and email. You need to have your Insight ID or your student ID. You need to also set up your email and your Canvas. It is really important for you all to have that set up. If you don't, you won't be able to sort of basically do the class because everything's remotely done. Um, so once you do, once you have registered, you have your student ID and you'll have to create a password and log in. Once you get all that done through Insight, you can look to the right and go on to Canvas. Canvas is what we are going to be using sort of it's the structure of the whole class. Um, it's going to allow you to see the assignments. It's going to allow you to communicate with me through um, email. And um, I'll also be uploading live, de not live demos, but recorded demos. So let's go click onto Canvas. Yours is going to look a little different than mine. So once we've clicked on that icon, then we can go down to access your Canvas classes. Um, this is where it'll look different. Mine are going to show all of my classes and everything that's going on, but you will probably only have Art 066-025 Intro Handbuilt Ceramics. So what we're going to do is click onto this, and here you'll see the home has all the class um, assignments. The syllabus is uploaded, so you can always refer back to this. These links are live, so if you do click on them, for example, um, where to get the book, this will take you to Amazon or wherever the links are leading you. Um, so you can get it on Kindle or um, another version for around $16.50, which isn't that bad. Um, here's a Google Book one. I think it might be a little bit cheaper. It's up to you, want to, whatever it is that you want to do. So we're going back to the syllabus. Um, Here's a good one also. If you're unable to purchase the book or find yourself in a jam, we can click on to uh, that link and that'll take you to the Los Madonna's, um library homepage. So we will click on library discovery. So as you're pretty much already sort of becoming aware, you need internet access. You need a computer. An iPad or uh, a Chromebook will work. But the phone is definitely going to be really tough to navigate and do all of this, so you will need a computer or some sort of something larger. Um, so here we are at the Los Mendanos Library, and if we can type in um, the book or the author, I'll type in Melissa Weiss. Here we go. So if we click on to the book, we'll scroll down to this ebook. This is what's going to allow us to view the PDF version. It is kind of a little clunky, and then it's going to log you into basically your insight, and this is where you need to come up. You sort of input your username and your password. That's why you need to log in and create your username, email, and password. So we'll click log in and this will take us to the online version of the book. And then we can scroll down in the table of contents. So for example, like if we just go to um, the first assignment, So this is how you'll be able to see an online version of the book, which I think is pretty awesome for being free. All right. So let me get out of all this and go back to the syllabus. Um, so let's move down to the pick up and drop off dates. These are really important to understand if you want to have your work 
fire. You do not have to, but if you want to, we, can, we offer that. So the first day is June 15th. We have a window from 9 to 12 where basically people are just picking up materials. Um, the first drop-off day is going to be July 9th from 9 to 12. Basically, that's going to be the first four weeks of assignments where you're going to be dropping off your pots if you want to get them bisque fired. Bisque firing is the first firing of two firings. Um, and what you'll see is basically it's a six-week semester, but only four weeks are allowed for making, and the following two weeks are going to be for glazing and finishing. And there is a small essay to um, that I'm going to assign basically week six. Um, so it's just the nature of the things we have to cut people off so you know we can get things cycled through the kilns. Um, so just wanted to go over that. I have a loose sort of schedule of the assignments and sort of when they're going to be uh, or how they're going to be assigned like week one, two, three, four. I'm just kind of trying to break it down and be as straightforward as possible. But let's do some more navigating actually in Canvas itself. So the syllabus, our home page. Um, I'm going to upload the videos, I think, to the home page. We'll go to assignments. This is where you'll also be able to see all of your assignments. Um, there are certain days when things are labeled to be due. You will need to um, upload your work onto Canvas. Um, we can go into modules is another way to kind of view the same things. This is kind of new to me, but it's kind of really nice because you can just kind of break things down to what am I doing week one, all right? So this is all of what you're doing week one. What do I got going on week two? All of what we're doing week two. So it might be helpful for you to kind of just stay on track and keep yourself organized. So if we actually click on one of these, I'll have um, sort of more information on what we're going to be doing each week, what each assignment's going to be about. More importantly, if we go back and actually get into an actual assignment, which is our first assignment right here, I'll have more information on what it is that you'll be doing. Um, I'll have vocabulary in there. Um, I think it's going to be really important to understand these things about clay. I'll talk more about that when I get into demos. I think the most important thing to understand, too, is that you are going to be following along with your book, but I'm also going to be uploading um, videos of myself demoing them for you at all. So in here, under these assignments, this is where you're going to be seeing those video links. Those links are going to take you to a YouTube channel that I've made. Unfortunately, I can't upload um, large video files to Canvas's platform. It just doesn't work. So I've created a YouTube channel, and the link will take you directly there. Um, what else? In terms of uploading your work, you will have a submission button um, when the assignments are live where you will have to actually take a photo of your work and submit it. Now, if you're getting your pieces fired, you're going to do all your submitting of your work at the very, very end. If you are, you know, not comfortable coming to class, you will submit them whenever you can. But remember, you have to submit your work for me to grade. Um, if you need to email, we can go into the, uh, the little inbox window, and this is going to be Canvas's little email. And to create a new email, we will hit compose a new message. You will select a course. Yours is going to look different than mine, right? Because I'm communicating to you all, and you all are just communicating to me. Um, so you'll just have to send me an email, and I'll respond. Um, what else? I think that's kind of a lot. The main thing is this week is trying to get your Canvas and your password and your email all set up. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you all, and I look forward to seeing you all.